If you have a Windows laptop, you may think it only has one screen, but I'm going to show you a hack on how to make a second screen appear on your laptop's one screen. Let me show you how to do it. So here's what you'll need. Of course, you need your laptop. Now, many new laptops don't come with HDMI ports, so you're going to need usually an adapter to get that HDMI port. You're also going to need a USB-A port, that's the rectangular one, to input into the laptop. Now again, if your laptop doesn't have one of those, you might need an adapter. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this adapter from Ugreen. And what it does is it plugs into the USB-C port here, but then it gives me both the HDMI port out, and on this side, it gives me a USB-A port in. So I'm going to get both of the needed ports with just this one adapter. You'll also need an HDMI video capture device. So this has an HDMI port in here and a USB port out here. And I'll put links to all of these adapters that you might need in the description down below. And then of course you're just going to need a, a regular HDMI cable, just use whichever one you have uh, available easily to you. So we need all of those in order to set this up. So let's look at how we set this up. See, what we're going to do is we're going to make the laptop think it has a second screen connected through the HDMI cable. The adapter that has the HDMI port takes the second screen signal out of the laptop. The signal then goes through the HDMI cable and into the video capture device, where it turns it into a camera input, showing the second screen from the laptop. When we plug the video capture device into the USB port of the computer, it thinks it has an external webcam or camera attached. And we can see the second screen in an app that displays the camera. So let's go to the laptop and set it up. Now again, my Ugreen adapter here plugs into the USB-C and it gives me both the HDMI and the USB-A. Now, if you have an older laptop, like my old laptop from Dell, it doesn't have USB-C, but it does have a mini display port. So sometimes you're going to need a mini display port to HDMI adapter. So I'll go ahead and plug this into the USB-C port. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll plug one end of my HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the adapter. Then I'll take the other end of the HDMI cable and I'll plug that into my video capture card, into the HDMI end. Make sure that's in there. And then my final step is I take my USB-A, the end of the video capture card, and I'm going to plug that into one of the USB-A ports on my adapter. Now, if you have a USB-A port on your laptop, you could just plug that in directly if you want to. So in Windows, I'll go to my Windows settings and I'll go to the display section. And in the display section, you'll see that it now says I have two screens, but they're being duplicated. So I'm going to scroll down, and I am going to say for multiple displays, and to say extend these displays. This now gives me one screen on my laptop and a second through the adapter. So I'm gonna say keep those changes. And you notice now I have my two screens screen one and screen two. Now screen one is going to be your uh, laptop screen and you can always click identify and you'll notice the laptop has one. And so number two is my hacked screen. And what you can do is set the display resolution. Normally I would suggest consider, you know, maybe the high resolution, but maybe also consider uh, 1280 by 720, which uh, is still good resolution, but it doesn't uh, maybe have as high resolution, it makes it easier to see the text. And arrange the screens the way you want them to be. So what I'm going to say is, is my second screen, this hacked screen, is going to be to the right of my laptop screen. Once I've got this all set up, then I can say, okay, that's done, and I'll close out my settings. Now, to see that second screen, we need to use an app that is able to view a camera or a webcam. So the default in uh, Windows is to use the camera app. So I'm going to use the, oh, just open up the camera app here. And 
You'll notice it has the front facing camera as the default, but you can change the camera using this icon in the top right corner here. I'll just change it and keep clicking until I get to the USB video camera. Now, the name that it gives might be a little different kind of depending on what um, camera adapter you have, but now I'm seeing this second screen here on the camera app, and I can use it as, as if I want to. The challenge with this particular app is, is that you can't get rid of the user interface, so you're always going to see all of the user interface around it. So what I tend to you want to use is a, an app that is a little cleaner. So I'll close my camera app. I'm going to use an app called Webcam Viewer. You can download this for free from uh, the internet. I'm going to give you a link in the description down below. So I'm going to use my Webcam Viewer app here. And you'll notice what it does is it allows you to more easily select which webcam you want to use. So I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to say my USB video. And then you can set the resolution. Here I'm going to set it to the 1280 by 720. And then I can click on Start. And now I can make this window as big or as small as I want it to be. And my web screen is, again, it's to the right. So this second screen is to the right. So when I move my cursor off the right-hand side, you'll notice that it shows up on this second screen. And the nice thing about this particular app is it has sort of a minimalist option to it. So I can use this little icon here and it gets rid of most of the user interface. Now I can make this as big or as small as I want, get rid of those gray bars. And I have, I can bring the user interface back by simply just clicking on that icon again. So now what I have is I have a second screen on this laptop screen and I've hacked it so that it has the second screen. So how can we use this? This is especially valuable when we are presenting in PowerPoint on a virtual meeting. So I have my PowerPoint app open with a sample uh, presentation here. We're going to use this in a second. And you'll notice when I drag it off to the right side, you'll see it appears in the second screen there on the side, on the second screen in the webcam viewer. So that shows you how this is really hacking our laptop to think it has two screens, but I'm seeing both of them on this one screen. This can be really valuable when you're using PowerPoint because in PowerPoint, now that it has two screens, you can use Presenter View. So I can go in PowerPoint, I can go to Slideshow, I can say I want to use Presenter View, and the monitor that I want to use, it says, which monitor do you want to display the slideshow? Now, I don't want the primary monitor, I want monitor one, which is this USB monitor. So I'll select that, and now, when I go into slideshow uh, in presenter view, I see my presenter view window here, but I can make that smaller. So I'll make that smaller, move it over, and you'll notice my, my webcam viewer, this is my second screen. That's what has the presentation. So when I move through the presentation here in presenter view, go to the second slide, it shows up there. This makes this tremendously valuable when you are going to do a virtual presentation. It allows you to show this second screen, which we created using this hack, in a virtual meeting. So let me open up a Zoom meeting and show you how it can display that second screen to your audience. So I'm in the Zoom meeting now, and when I go to share in the Zoom meeting, you'll notice it has two screens. It has the screen that I'm on right now, which it calls screen two. So notice that it's not necessarily gonna take the same numbers as Windows has. And it's showing screen one in our webcam viewer window here. So that's the screen that I would wanna share, just so we can see that in the Zoom uh, interface here. So let me go and go back to PowerPoint. I'll go back into my slideshow here in presenter view. We'll make presenter view not Quite so large. There we go. Move that over. We see our slide in webcam, webcam viewer. And now when we go to Zoom and we go to share our screen, you'll notice it has screen one, which is the full slides and high resolution for our audience. And that's what we can choose to share with our audience. And now they're seeing the slides 
and we have presenter view in the rest of our screen. But as we go through in presenter view, notice we can always see what they're seeing by looking at our webcam viewer window. So this makes this sort of a setup tremendously helpful when you are presenting in a virtual meeting and you just have your one laptop, but you have actually hacked it to think it has two screens and you can see both of the screens now on your one laptop screen. So that's how you hack a Windows laptop to think it has a second screen and be able to see both of those screens just on the laptop screen. I'll put a link to all the adapters and software that I used in the description below. If you want to use a laptop, even an old one, as a physical second screen for a laptop or a desktop computer, check out these videos that show you exactly how to do this. Thanks for watching.